Ladies and gentlemen, the final vote of the evening is a welterweight elite contest of three Freeman runs. Between in the red corner representing the Empire and David and Somerset, Tom Murphy. And in the blue corner representing the Factory and Glossary Wilkes, Hakeem Enos Brown. Ernest Brown in the blue, Murphy in the Right, so the final contest of the evening features the extremely entertaining and uh, powerful frame of Akeem Ennis Brown from the factory ABC up against Tom Murphy from the local Empire Club. And this one could be explosive, Craig. I think so. We've all seen uh, Akeem previously. Um, we all know that he's uh, quite a destructive puncher, quite sharp. Uh, but Tom Murphy, very seasoned campaigner, uh, different styles. Uh, Tom, very businesslike. Hakeem's got a bit of the razzle dazzle about him, but uh, both guys work to great effect. Yep, they do. Well, <coughs> he's got a following as Hakeem Ennis Brown. And he likes to display his talents if he can the southpaw stance and big left hand when he chooses to unleash it against uh, Tom Murphy. Compact. Very correct. A little bit square on, maybe to a certain extent, but uh, certainly difficult opponent for Aki Menis Brown, who will want to impress. Brown just looking for those openings, but uh, Murphy not afraid to throw himself, but just having to cover up a little bit there as Ennis Brown gets him up against the rope, works inside a little bit. You can see him already, Ennis Brown planting his feet a little bit and trying to get that big left hand off. Great. That's right. Um, goes at the moment. He's very fast with the counters, Akeem. Southpaw boxer there, and uh, the right hook, left hand, working to good effect. Jimmy Robottom in the Empire corner, pleading with uh, Tom Murphy to come forward, and when he does and opens up, Tom is very effective. Um, so like I said, this, when this catch is fire, uh, we needn't wait for that. It's already happened. This yeah. is a great contest. Yeah. Plenty of good work going in here. Ennis Brown, confident young man. Throws out the the right jab from a very low position, dances out of trouble himself, and looking to get that left hand away if he can. But Murphy doing a good job inside there. work by Ennis Brown, they're just picking him off as he, his opponent fainted to come in. Very accurate punching by Ennis Brown and catch him again with another right on the ropes and there's the bell to end round number one and uh, Ennis Brown very very patient there looking for his opportunity. I think probably a year or so ago he might have just gone out all guns blazing but he was, uh, he was biding his time isn't he boxing within himself that's right he's sat back he's matured he's listening to uh, John Pittman and the guys at the factory <laughs> taking it all on board now and he's becoming a very seasoned elite level boxer um, as I say Tom by no means you, you can never count this guy out he's two handed very business like and uh, he'll be back definitely in this contest in the next round Akeem, his sharpness, he, he does everything wrong right, if that makes sense. He's, he's almost like a piece of rubber, how he leans back and counting you from really awkward angles. Um, as I say, Tom needs to stand on him, pressure him. It's the only way you can get through to a guy who's as unpredictable as, mm. as Akeem. So he's going he's to come from unexpected angles just because he can do things with his body that maybe some mere mortals can't. Extreme flexibility and uh, the, the, the height that uh, Akeem's got allows him that range of motion from the top, uh, from the torso that uh, the majority of people don't have. Lucky man. <laughs> yeah. Loose limbs, flexible muscles, powerful punches. 
but uh, Tom Murphy's going to have something to say about that for sure in this contest. Second round of three, three three-minute rounds, elite contest. But Akim just trying to pick him off, throws the right, follows up with the left hand, tries to get the combinations in. Just waiting for the opening, waiting for his man to come in. And there he is, just catches him. As soon as uh, Murphy just opens up his guard, a fraction, Akeem is in there trying to punish him. Getting that left hand working very quickly indeed. His reflexes, you can, you can just see the hand-eye coordination from Akeem is stupendous really, isn't it? He's, he's, he spots the opening and, he, and his fists are there in a flash. That's right. It's, uh very quick, reactive, instinctive boxing. Um, Tom's got a little switch off there. You see when he goes goes back out, he tends to drop his hands a little bit. That's something that we can watch for next time. Um, and he tends to get caught with that. When he comes back out, you see the hands come down just there. Yeah. And uh, we're going to have to keep an eye on that one for uh, further development. Yeah. It's like he's taking a bit of a sight to see what's coming, but... <laughs> there might be the wrong time that's inviting it to come, isn't it? Yeah, everybody's got one because it's, it's not the usual thing in human kinesthetics to, to, to keep your hands up around your head all the time. So now and then we need a break. We need to, to, to drop the hands and perhaps that's where it's coming. Um, but as I said, it, it does an elite level amateur boxer, no favours. So that's a good oh, left good. hand, good left hand from Tom. Yeah. So uh, it's not all one-way traffic here by any means. And another left hand just gets through, not with the same power from uh, Murphy. But Akeem Ennis Brown just looking to pick him off again, standing in centre ring, just trying to anticipate when Murphy will open up and then just comes in over the top and lands a couple of good shots and then gets out again and then gets back to range and, and just turns him and Landed another two decent shots there. Throwing these combinations, flicking out the jab, getting in the left hook and then following up with another right hand. So there's the uh, bell to end round number two. Pretty effective from Akeem Ennis Brown. Some good work though from Tom Murphy. But uh, he's got his work cut out to, uh, as I'm sure he knew before he even started this contest against uh, this opponent. He's got to come up with a special plan to, to thwart him, really, isn't he? That's right, and I would suggest it involves a left hook because he's caught Akeem with two good, good left hooks in that round. Uh, maybe close him down, feint to the body, switch up, bang, left hook on the chin, left hook, right hand again. Um, he has got a mountain to climb, but the one thing you can say about Tom Murphy is that he will attempt to climb it. Mm. And uh, like I said, we're going to be in for a competitive, fast last round, I suspect. Um, Akeem, well, you'd know I've rated this kid for me when he was quite young. And um, just keeps getting better and better. Settled down now, looks far more mature. And uh, yeah, one for the future. Yeah, definitely. So here we go, the uh, final three minutes. Akeem Ennis Brown wearing the black vest and shorts. And Tom Murphy all in the red from the Empire. ABC here in Bristol. Ennis Brown unleashing again. Gets him slight headlock, but now back free again. Murphy throws that left hook but doesn't make contact. Ennis Brown just trapped in the uh, in that corner, boxes his way out of it. Lands solid left again as Murphy comes in. Nothing too flashy from Ennis Brown so far in this, this round. In fact, good workmanlike display by Murphy. Negating some of those skills from Ennis Brown, but 
it only takes a moment. And he's getting some shots away again now. Hands low, kind of those shots whipping up from waist height. Well parried on the gloves by Murphy. Loving left hand by uh, Murphy. Just clipped Ennis Brown there. It's a bit more of a spoiling fight in this uh, final round. Murphy's just doing well to keep him tied up and then shipped a straight one through the guard there and just now suddenly momentarily looking a little bit tired. A bit of blood trickling down his, his nose and he's... Brown's pressure is really getting to him now. And I think Ennis Brown senses that um, he's finally got the measure of his man and not sure how long there is left in the round, but he's beginning to take quite a few shots and not much coming back from Murphy at the moment. A very brave performance by the Empire boxer, but Ennis Brown just uh, getting too much on top and Ken Brain steps in to... Uh, to uh, just give him a little Six. bit of respite there, Craig. Seven. Yeah, I think it's great shame, but I think Tom, uh, Tom's nose might be broken, I think. Um, yeah, at the moment, uh, referee Ken Bray with a protection count and uh, doing the right thing. But uh, brave effort there by Tom. So, well, it's like a nasty injury, but still in front of the man, still punching. Yeah, yeah, so closing seconds of the, uh, of the round and of the contest and Ennis Brown just now just uh, going to finish it off <coughs> not too much coming back brave effort by Tom Murphy and uh, Ennis Brown finished strongly and it's good that Murphy managed to get to the final final bell there put up a, a game effort but in the end eventually just midway through that uh, final round the pressure proved a little bit too much. That's right, I think so. I mean, great effort there from, from Tom, as usual. It's a really solid, solid performer. Um, Akeem kicked the gears there, a little bit too quick, a bit fast. But as I say, Tom, in developmental terms, is still a baby, essentially. Mm. So uh, he'll come on from that. They're already elite level, but elite level could be second, third, fourth divisions, the same as any other the same as any other um, level of boxing. So he'll come again. He's a tough, tough guy. And you'll come again, I'm sure, uh, the next time we'll be out. Um, Tesso will be doing this all again come uh, the October show, Craig. Oh, I'd, I'd love to be back. Bristol Sporting Club, if, if you're out there and you'd like to become a member of Bristol Sporting Club, please do. It's fantastic. Great evening, great food, great company, and above all else, great boxing. Lovely. Thanks, Craig. Ladies and gentlemen, the winner of the final vote of the evening, the unanimous decision, in the blue board. Thank you, Chris. Thank you, Chris.